Yo, what's up? It's Joe Crizzle. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Hey, I'm in uh, Bitwig 2.5. I'm about to show y'all how to uh, convert uh, stereo to mono and mono to stereo. It's 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 it's, it's a little bit different than you know DAWs like Pro 2, Studio One. And certain stuff like that, but it's actually simple. You know what I'm saying? All right, this first sample right here, uh, I'm gonna solo this sample. Simple sample. And as you can see, when I double click on it, it's mono. Now, if you want this, if you want this sample stereo, if you notice, no matter how far I stretch it, it's it's you know it's it's mono. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click right here, go to tool. I mean utility, go to tool, and you got this tool right here, which I like in uh, Bitwig, and you turn it all the way to the right. That's stereo. All the way to the left. That's mono. All the way to the right. You know what I'm saying? Pan left and right, blah, blah, blah. You got the amplitude to boost it up a little bit. You could swap left and right. But you turn this over to the right. And once you do that, you click on the wave and you just press bounce. Pre fader. You got option to pre fader, post fader, pre FX. Uh, I got to play with those a little bit. Now, now it's stereo. Well, actually, you know, it's it looks stereo. That's what I think. But anyway, it's supposed to convert the stereo, but to me, you know, it sounds this damn same. Uh, and then let me mute these. I'm, 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 I'll mute this. This is a stereo track already, right? And as you notice, we're gonna go through the waves, because what they was telling me is that, for for my understanding, what I read and and studies and stuff like that. Um, if you notice, stereo is when the left side and the right side don't even up. If you notice that, look at this part right here, and. And compared to the left side of this part, it's not the same. That's when you know something is stereo. You know, that's when you know something is stereo. Let's go to another part of the wave. This part look a little higher than this part. Um... Find something else. Because I wanted to show you something before I, you know, change this to, uh... If you look at this part right here, this part is lower than this one. This one is a little more... You know, got more mountains. That's when you know something is stereo. 
Same thing right here. Like this little part is peaking. This part is not. So we're going to pay attention to this simple little part. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on this track. I'm going to get utility. Go to two. Right. I'm going to turn this all with a mono. And I'm going to click on this track. And I'm going to bounce. Prefade. All right. Now remember. You know what we seen the first time. Remember what we seen the first time. Yeah, that's my lady talking in the background. People. That's her talking in the background. So she's gonna be in the video. Uh now if you notice, uh now when I change the mono, all this is even. It looked the same. It's identical. It's straight identical. The whole wave would be identical. So, but but Bitwig, if you bring it like this, it looks mono. And if you spread it, it turns a stereo. That's a stereo track. Now, any track that's mono, like right up here, if you spread this, it don't turn. It don't look stereo, but, but when I converted it right here, yes, this one right here looks stereo, but the thing is to me, all the files, the waves look the same. So the question is, what is really stereo and mono, man? You know, when you converting it in Bitwig. You know, um I don't know. Let me let me play them back. Let me play let me let me compare these two. Let me mute these. Yeah, I'm gonna mute this this one. I'm gonna play the mono first. Solo the mono. I hope y'all can hear it if there's any difference. Alright, so I'm gonna play this one. Matter of fact, I'll take that back. Let me unsolo this and go back to this one and turn this off on, this, on, on, on the mono track alright this mono this is the original sample alright now play this one back Wave down here, we're going to see how it moves. It got the two stereo tracks left and right. Alright, so now let's go to this mono jaw. Still the same thing. Hold on, so let's go right here. Alright, let's try, let's try this one. Let's click on that. Put that on raw. Take that loop off thing off. Alright, let's play this one. Turn this loop off on this one also to stretch. We'll put it on raw. See, 
this one gonna go with the tempo because I bounced it to the tempo. See this or not because this playing original. Because even when I play when I play it raw, it plays it the, the original tempo. <laughs> See, my tempo is 110. They say this beat is 147, but I don't know. Sometimes that crap be off. Uh, but it's easy to find the tempo. All I got to do is uh, tap tempo. Right? Let's play this solo, this one. So, my point is, I don't know. Like, I don't know if there's any difference. If y'all know something that I don't know. For all my years dealing with mono and stereo, I don't know. Uh, only thing I did understood or learn is that when you're dealing with a stereo track, if you got a special plug-in like a wider or a panner or uh, um, like some dogs like Reaper, they have a, a plug-in. Well, you can just go to the, the, the pan option and right-click the pan. The right click the pan like like for example like the uh this part right here you right click and it'll pop up an option say uh you know stereo and then when you click stereo it'll pop up two knobs and when you turn those knobs it, it makes the, the 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 sound move a certain way it has a lot of options and uh you know bitwig not on that level to that part I don't know if it's a plug-in. I know Sampler 2 does it. Studio 1 don't do it. Um, that's very important as far as panning and widening certain things. Maybe I'm not understanding how it should be. Because when I click on this, let me let me let me double click on this. Solo this one. And let me play it back. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so why is it why is it? Now remember this is the this is the original stereo track. This is the bounce one supposed to be in mono. So the original stereo track, if you go back, I'm gonna play it back. Now that's mono. She's my Goldie Love. She's my Goldie Love. Yeah, young boys don't know about this song, man. And you turn it. Alright, so let 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 now let's get that tool and put it on the this mono track. Okay, I see what what it's doing. Alright. Alright, so let's go. That's, yeah, that's my lady back there singing. Yes, she can sing. Yeah, she's a professional. Alright, so uh let's 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 play let's play it in mono. Oh wow, I get it. So this is in mono. So even if I put it in width, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Okay, I see what Bitwig doing. So hold on, let, let's 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 go back. Now, people, this is the mono track. This is the one I bounce. I hope y'all catching up with me. Let me let me uh change it to another color. All right, this is the mono track. Mono. Uh, so now I'm gonna play it back. I'm gonna solo this one. Let all these rock. These are muted solo. Play it back. It's going to play slow because I bounced it and it's going to go with the tempo of what I already had. All right. So, but still just listen. Now I'm going to turn the width. She's my golden eyes. Right, so now we're gonna play the stereo one back, and we turn it this on. We're gonna go. We're gonna turn it to mono. 
Right? Play it back. Then we're gonna turn it with. She smiled through. See? Big difference. So there's actually, so now we get it how the two work with mono and stereo. If you don't understand, uh, subscribe and I can break it down a better way. This is your Crystal Peace.